assalamu alaikum my viewers i want you to improve your english especially in terms of your vocabulary because uh, whenever i uh, i mean i meet uh, different students so they ask me such questions sir how can we build our vocabulary so there is no shortcut except to keep on building it on regular basis today i will tell you difference between pain and pains and usually i mean we we use both these words synonymously we we try to use them in an interchangeable way but at deeper level both are different from each other pains means any sensation that you feel in any part of your body you may have pain in your stomach in your back in your teeth or anywhere else in any part of your body so that is pain you can so pain is a physical sensation but when you put s you inflict pain with letter s it becomes pains so pains mean your extra or special effort that you put in order to do something suppose if uh, from this day onwards you have made a commitment to improve your english and for this purpose you have started watching more videos than you usually watch on other normal days days so it means you have started taking pains to improve your english language so pains therefore the proverb reads thus it is said no pains no gain it is not said no pain no gains and plus whenever we use this word pain so we use such intensifier like extreme or severe or great for example i am feeling great pain in my back or i am feeling great or extreme pain in my in my teeth so instead of saying extreme severe or great you must use a better replacement for these intensifiers and that replacement is excruciating so from this day onwards you must use this word excruciating so the pain in my back was excruciating it means it was killing it was too it was too high it was too extreme to be endured okay so from this this day onwards uh, especially after watching this lecture of mine you should forget you should use a better replacement and the replacement is excruciating thank you very much assalamu alaikum my viewers i have always thought and studied about science of success I, i i have always i always want to know whether this process of success is merely an accident or it is a proper science you know science always works on principle of cause and effect suppose if you are putting your effort in some specific fields so after passage of some certain times those effort they will start paying you back okay so if you want to know whether you would be successful or not you must see how committed you are okay and 